Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, The Actorial Quest. I am Anjal, your actorial mentor, and this video is all about the first actorial paper. I'm going to talk about my experience with my first actuarial exam, how I selected my first actuarial paper and how I attempted it, how I prepared for it. I took my first actuarial exam years ago and since then major changes have taken place in the exam pattern and in the exam syllabus. To make this video, I researched about the current exam pattern and the syllabus. So I will give you all the information as per the current scenario including my experience that I have gained so far over the years. So please keep watching. For anything else, let me tell you that the actuarial exams are not like your school or university exams. The difficulty level is simply high. In school and university exams, we almost knew what was going to be asked in the exam. There were few main topics in the entire syllabus and the exam mostly tested either of those selected topics. In actuarial papers, they are not going to ask you direct questions. I mean there will be direct questions uh, but very limited. Most of the questions will be application based or scenario based and the key to clearing actuarial papers is to know your concepts well. If you are good with the concepts then you can apply them in any type of question. My first actuarial paper was CT3 which is now CS1 and I attempted it from IAI. So how did I select my first paper? What I did was I studied the syllabus of each of the initial CT papers that is CT1, CT2 and CT3 and the most relatable subject that occurred to me was CT3 because the syllabus of CT3 matched with what I had been studying in my graduation. So you can apply the same technique, uh, look through the syllabus of each of the core principal exams and then see which one you find most relatable, interesting and easy to attempt. So what exams do you have to choose from? Let's look at the list of core principal exams that we have. We have uh, CS1, CM1, CS2 and CM2, uh, CB1, CB2 and CB3. The CB exams are the least important from the job perspective. So you should not prioritize the CB exams as your first paper. CS2 and CM2 exams should only be taken once you have cleared their prior exams which are CS1 and CM1. So now you have to decide between CS1 and CM1 and you can choose either of these uh, two subjects as your first paper depending on your area of interest. CS1 which is the actuarial statistics is all about probability theory and statistics. It has two papers. Paper A is a written exam which the institute is currently taking online because of the pandemic and paper B is a computer based exam on R software. CM1 which is the actuarial mathematics is all about interest rates and cash flows. It also has two papers. Paper A is a written theoretical exam and paper B is a practical exam based on Microsoft Excel. I have added the IFOA syllabus link in the description for both the exams CS1 and CM1 so that you can have a look through the syllabus and then decide your first exam. Some of you have asked me if I took any coachings for actuarial papers or from where did I take my actuarial coachings or if coachings are really required for clearing actuarial papers. My answer to your question is no, I did not take coachings for any of my actuarial exams and it is really not mandatory to take coachings. It is possible to clear actuarial papers by self-studying. I actually took some acted study support that proved to be very helpful for me and I will talk about it in a while. Coming back to coachings, there are many actuarial coaching institutes available and all of them are equally good. The benefit of taking coachings is that they provide you with easy to understand notes, they keep you on track with your studies, they also take mock tests to keep you prepared under exam conditions and you also get in touch with other students who are at the same place as yours. But if you don't want to opt for coachings and you want to study on your own, then also it is totally fine. It is not at all mandatory to take coachings. The study material is easy to understand. It is doable to study on your own. Now, if you're taking coachings for your actuarial preparations, then you might not need to watch this video as your coaching will provide you all the guidance that you need. But if you're self-studying, then this video should be helpful for you. 
First step is to create a study plan. You can target to complete the syllabus in one to two months and you can keep one month for revising and practicing questions and then last one month for final revision and some more practice. Of course, different things work for different students and you can study and plan as you like. The idea that I'm trying to share here is that you must have some plan and daily targets to track. While creating your plan, please try to put in some breather days or no study days in order to keep you refreshed. The main target during your study process should be to make sure that you are able to understand the concepts very well and that you are practicing as many questions as you can. Next thing is obviously to follow the plan that you created and study. Uh, you can purchase the combined materials pack from the Acted website. Uh, this includes your course notes, assignments and paper B online resources. The course notes is split into four to five parts and after each part there are assignment questions for you to practice. You can study, understand and make notes for one part. Once you are done with that, you can practice its assignment questions and then move to the next part, practice its assignment questions and then move to the next part and so on. One problem with self-studies is that you may get stuck with some topic or some calculations that you're not able to understand on your own. This used to happen with me as well. So what I used to do was I used to mark that topic for some later day and then I used to move ahead with my further studies. Most of the time when I used to come back to that topic at a later day with a fresh mind, then I could actually understand that topic. If even after returning with a fresh mind, I was not able to understand that topic, then I used to mark it and skip it again. And then while doing the past papers practice, I used to see what kind of questions have been asked related to that topic in the past paper. Most of the time, my problems did not sound important to the exam setters and therefore no major questions uh, were tested from those topics. But if there were questions tested from those topics, then I used to try to understand the solutions of those questions and try hard to make some sense out of it. So the idea here is to try to understand everything as much as you can and never skip any topic because you never know when it might be your unlucky day and the topic that you've skipped come up in the exam day. You can also reach out to your friends who are also studying for the same exam and then you can solve your doubts together. My situation during my first exam was that nobody around me knew what I was studying for and so nobody could really help me. If you have nobody to solve your doubts, then you can also post your doubts on the ACTED forum where the ACTED tutors can help solve your problems. Or maybe your question has already been put up in the ACTED forum by somebody else who also faced the similar problem. So definitely you should check out the ACTED forum. There is any topic on which you want me to create a video to help you understand any concept then please put it in the comments you can try to create a combined video for few of the requested doubts practicing past paper is the second but equally important key to clearing actuarial papers while practicing the past paper questions you should try to attempt them on your own uh, try to type your answers then try to match your answers with their solutions don't lose hope if your answers do not match with the level of answers that they have written in their solutions. In your initial practice, they won't match anyway, but gradually you will definitely see an improvement in your answers. I used to practice roughly around 5 years of past papers. You can either download the past papers from the institute's website or you can also purchase the revision notes from the ACTED website. The revision notes contain topic wise or chapter wise questions with solutions of past 10 year papers of IFOAs. One thing that you should definitely do is to attempt one to two past papers under complete exam conditions. So what you can do is that you can pick a fresh past paper that you've never seen before, set a three hour timer and then try to attempt the entire paper as if this is your actual exam. In this way, you will know where you are lagging behind or if you are able to attempt the entire paper within the given time or if you are running short of time. Attempting a past paper under complete exam conditions will really prepare you for your exam day. Uh, now coming to the acted support that I purchased for most of my actuarial papers which is the recorded acted tutorials. These tutorials provide great explanation of all the important topics. They also explain how to attempt different types of exam questions. So overall they proved really helpful to me. Acted also provides some other study support materials such as flashcards, revision notes, uh, mock exam with the markings. I haven't really purchased any of these things so I'm not sure how helpful they are going to be for you but you can definitely try and see whatever works for you.
even if you are studying for IAI, you can still purchase the acted study support as the syllabus is same for both IAI and IFOA. And you don't need to be an IFOA member to purchase the acted study materials. But yes, of course, before purchasing any study material, it is definitely worth making sure that the exam syllabus and pattern is same uh, because things might change in future. If you have further questions or doubts, please drop them in the comments. I will definitely consider your comments and questions while creating my upcoming videos. All the best and happy studying. Please subscribe and share if you found this video helpful. Signing off for now. We'll be back soon.